Okay, so here we are checking out the uh, Wolverine um, uh, claws. claws. So it started out with uh, this, what is this, half inch? It is... Quarter inch? Quarter by three by 24 inch balsa, balsa wood. Balsa wood. Uh, it's pretty sturdy. I got three sheets because I needed to make six claws. Okay, and check out the claws now. So the claws are... So I, I they're all the, the same? They're Pretty all, much the they're, same? They're currently all the same. I, I created a cardboard template and mm -hmm. did a little trial and error to fit it to my hand so that it would look kind of like the claw. Okay. And then I... The idea is that I'm going to fit them in like this. Okay. And then I needed to use something I, and I bought this, uh, I think it's quarter inch. I don't see the dimension, but I think it's a, a quarter inch dowel that I thought I could use to lock in. And so I created it looks some... looks like a half inch to me, but... That might be a half inch. Yeah. And the little... Yeah, actually it probably is a half inch, Yeah. now that yeah. you mention it. So the idea is that these little things will... I, I, they're really roughly done because I, I want to let a little bit of play. So I have to be able to bring my fingers in and out of it so that yeah. I can... Once it's together, the idea is that... And you're going to glue them all together? And then I'll glue them together. Okay. It'll lock in kind of like okay. that. Okay. So, um... And that'll make the... Nice. And look, see, the the thing about that little crook is that it looks like it actually is growing out of your hand. It's so awesome. And you did that all with the coping saw and sandpaper? Coping saw, the uh, uh, the jig down there. Oh, you the used... The scroll saw. You used the scroll saw. Okay. And then I... Uh, a lot of shaping with a hand sander. Okay. So did you find that the um, the um, the balsa wood did it tear easily or anything like that? Because I found that some well, people you gotta you gotta be careful with it. This is pretty good balsa wood, but the one thing is that some of it I'm not gonna try to get a perfect edge on it because I want to mm. keep some stability. Otherwise, it'll break. But, anyway, it's kind of a but it, balsa wood. Um, there's always a place on it where you can't smooth it quite as much as you want. It's probably mm -hmm. due to the grains coming together. It's yeah. the end points of the grain. So I figure what I might do is use some clear lacquer before I actually put color to it and then I could lightly sand the lacquer with, with a really fine grit sandpaper. Okay. And then yeah. that way it'll it'll look a little bit more polished. Okay, great. So let's take a picture with, uh, with the gizmo on. You want me to put them on? Yeah. Hold on. Take this off. It's just balsa wood and wood glue, right? Uh, yes. Yes. And a couple of toothpicks to act as shims. <laughs> just gonna just fit it in here like this. I got big knuckles, so I have to put it in through this way because it's pretty snug. Is there a right and a left? Um, technically, there probably is, but I'm I'm not. Uh... So, what color do they get to be painted? I, I'm gonna paint them like metal, so like a metallic mm -hmm. color. Mm -hmm. I might have some spray paints already. I have some paint. I already. Okay. Have, I know. I checked. Okay. All right. Let's do. A... That looks great. Let me do a photo. Hang on. So, do the fist. I like that part best. Okay, let me take a photo.
Okay, this is what it looks like. I don't know if it's um, going to debut with a Wolverine costume or if it'll just debut as Wolverine in normal dress with the uh, parts of his anatomy that he can't hide. The claws. Okay.